guys welcome back to another vlog i decided today is going to be a very cozy fall vlog and even though i live in florida and it's definitely still warm out i don't know what it is but like i swear in the blink of an eye when i got back home from minnesota came here and it just feels like fall it looks like fall out even though obviously the leaves don't change colors down here you can just like feel in the air that the season has changed and it just like looks like fall out like things are just still and it's a little more gloomy and i love it fall is the best. Do I wish that I could be at home in Minnesota where the seasons change and like the leaves change colors and you have like the crunchy fall leaves on the ground? Absolutely. But we're working with what we got, okay? And I'm like, I'm still gonna make my apartment feel cozy and truly indulge in all the coziness of fall because it's my absolute favorite. I have my fall candle lit and I've been lighting this candle like all day long, pretty much every day ever since I got it because it smells so good. I love the smell of like apple, pumpkin spice, cinnamon, all of that is my favorite, which reminds me I have to go to the grocery store today. I wanna get some pumpkin spice flavored things. I'm not a huge fan of like Trader Joe's pumpkin spice flavored things for one not um many of their items are like gluten-free so i don't really get them but i want to get like pumpkin spice granola pumpkin spice creamer i might even make chili tonight so we'll see stay tuned so that's kind of the plan for today oh also i got my nails done yesterday i freaking love how they turned out just went with this brown color i did vlog it so i'll insert those clips here for you guys because i was like of course we gotta freshen up the nails for the fall I just got to the nail salon and we're gonna do a fun color for the fall time. I figured we're getting into the fall spirit and I think I might do a color that I haven't ever done before like chocolatey brown or like a rich mocha brown. I feel like I need some fall nails and plus these definitely need a little refresh. We just finished up at the nail salon and I'm obsessed with how the nails turned out. I really like this chocolatey brown color. I think it's so pretty. I was nervous to get it because as I was saying earlier, I've never gone like really dark with my nails. I really, really like them. I think they're so perfect for fall. And I did try to get chrome on top, but it completely threw off this color. And I just love the simple chic little brown. So cute. So loving the nails. So freaking cute. I'm going to finish up my morning routine, go for a little walk, listen to podcasts and all that. I'm just about to head into Sprouts and grab a couple of groceries. And then I figured while I'm out and about, I'll probably just head to Target and then Home Goods. They're right next to each other. I know. It's a lethal combo. But I want to grab some candles at Home Goods and then at Target just check out their fall decor section. Because honestly, I've been striking out every time I go to like TJ Maxx or Home Goods. They just do not have fall decor like they typically do. And I just want to get a couple of things. Nothing crazy, but just some fall decor to spice up the apartment. And if you guys have been watching my vlogs, every time I go, I swear I find literally nothing besides candles. <laughs> I'm finally back from running my errands and heading to the grocery store. Well, I guess multiple grocery stores, but definitely had a successful shop at Sprouts. They had so many fall flavored things, which I'm so excited about. First things first, the Catalina Crunch cereal. You guys know I love this stuff. It's so good on top of my oats in the morning or just yogurt parfaits. I had no idea they had a pumpkin spice flavor, so I picked that up. And then I'm looking forward to trying this brand. It's called Three Wishes. It's like a grain-free cereal. And of course I had to pick up pumpkin spice flavor. I thought this would be good on yogurt parfaits in the morning or as 
as like a little sweet treat after dinner. Got a pumpkin flavored protein bar. I love these one protein bars. They're so good. My favorite, Purely Elizabeth dark chocolate granola. Some popcorn. I love the Himalayan gold popcorn and the sweet flavor because it's like a light kind of kettle corn, but nothing too overpowering or too sweet. And the Lesser Evil brand is so bomb. And of course, I got all the ingredients for my chili that I'm going to make tonight. I also stopped at Trader Joe's to get some ingredients because they have the ground turkey that I needed and then also like kidney beans, corn, different things like that. And then I also saw this Nut Pods Pumpkin Spice Creamer and I freaking love Nut Pods. It's like the perfect creamer that's very light and sweet, like a very light sweet. It's nothing too overpowering because I don't love my coffee to be extremely sweet, but I like a very light tad bit of sweetness and Nut Pods does it every freaking time and you still get like the flavor you're looking for. Like it doesn't taste incredibly healthy, you know? So love that. And then another coffee creamer I got because I'm just way too obsessed, especially with the seasonal flavors. I got the Califia Caramel Apple Crumble flavor and oh my god, I'm looking forward to trying this because first off, it was pretty much almost all sold out at Target and I've tried the pumpkin spice one before and I do love it. I was like, you know what? I should just try something different because I got this one at Sprouts. So gonna have to try that out and let you guys know how I like it. And then I just got some apples for my overnight oats, of course. And I found these little pumpkins at Trader Joe's and I just thought they were way too cute to pass up. Either putting them in my kitchen or my coffee table would add a little fun fall spice to my apartment because of course I found like nothing today at Home Goods. So these are gonna be my little touch of fall. And then lastly, I just got some Olipop. Of course, we know I love my poppy, my Olipop. These are my favorite. If I'm craving like a Celsius or a Lani in the middle of the day, I don't like to have that type of energy. So I'll reach for one of these and it satisfies my craving. So good. And they have this crisp apple flavor for the fall time. So looking forward to trying that. But yeah, that was my major fall grocery haul, I guess you could say. <laughs> It's been a minute since I've done a major haul and I've gotten a lot of things for the fall because y'all know I love fall fashion. I feel like everyone just enjoys fall fashion so much and gets so excited about fall. So I have lots of pieces to show you guys. I got things from Zara, Abercrombie, Aerie, Free People, and Aloe. So we'll just buzz through everything really quickly. I just did an Abercrombie haul over on my TikTok and filmed that. That's what you guys just saw of me showing everything that I got from Abercrombie because they have such good pieces. I've always been an Abercrombie guest. Okay, but I've never really tried their basics and to say I'm impressed is an understatement I got quite a few basics. So I wanted to show you guys the first thing I just got this gray tube top very simple again basic piece But I have found myself wanting like a tube top with so many different outfits recently And I only have a white one and I'm like, oh, I wish I had a black tube top or like a gray tube top for this outfit So I picked up a gray one because the black was out of stock But after trying this on and feeling the fit of it I will be getting the black one and probably the white one as well because these do not like flip down at all they stay up. I have a white tube top right now, but it kind of like rolls at the top and just gets like very uncomfy. And I found myself like constantly tugging it up, which is annoying. And this one just fits like a freaking glove. I got a size extra small with this and I really, really like it. And it's so soft as well. And then I also got a bodysuit in that same exact color. I've never tried their bodysuits actually, like these um, spaghetti strap ones, but they're super, super soft, very stretchy. I do gotta say, um, well, I did get everything like 25 or 20% off at Abercrombie because I swear they're like always having sales, but this is regularly 45 and the skims bodysuits are like 58. And personally, I would way rather spend the extra $13 to get the skims ones because I'm telling you, those bodysuits have magic in them. I own a couple and I'm constantly wearing them, especially when I'm like going out with friends and stuff. They're incredibly flattering. They just do something for the girls and I absolutely love the way they fit. They're so comfy. It feels like you're literally wearing nothing. It's like a crime for how comfortable they are. But these I thought would be perfect to wear with like sweatpants or something to give a more like casual yet elevated look. If you want to like dress up with jewelry or like wear under a denim jacket. I just love bodysuits, so can never have enough of those. And next I just got a very basic white tank. This tank is so incredibly flat around me. I'm super picky with my tanks because I do have very broad shoulders. So I'm picky about the way that they hit my neckline and how thick the straps are. And this one, everything about it is just a 10 out of 10. I love it. And I've seen so many people style just like basic tanks like this 
on Pinterest with like a flannel over top or a cute cardigan or even just like sweats or parachute pants or cargo pants, which I'm always wearing. So I will be ordering more colors of this. I'm the type of person where I find a piece of clothing, I will order more colors of it because if I like the way that it fits, it's comfy and I know I'll be wearing it a lot. I'm like, okay, might as well get the same thing, but a different color, same thing, different font. I just, I freaking love it. And then I think they had like black and gray. I don't know if they had like a lot of color variety. If they have a brown, I definitely would want to get a brown one as well. I feel like that'd be the perfect color for the fall. And then I just got this gray long sleeve Henley. I love tops like this. It's just so cozy. I love the ribbed material. And because it is like a cardigan kind of style, you could wear like a bralette underneath it if you wanted. But I think I'll just wear this very casually with some sweats or something. I swear, Abercrombie has such great lounge pieces. Speaking of, I got a very oversized crew neck. I... I love crew necks, okay? And a graphic crew neck like this is just so up my alley. I'm constantly throwing these with like biker shorts on or again, like leggings. I'm always in a sweatshirt. I don't care what the weather is outside. It could be 98 degrees. I'm still wearing a crew neck, okay? And this one just says Tampa Bay Bucks, which I thought would be so fitting because it is the season. And also, believe it or not, I have like no Tampa Bay wear at all. I have no lightning clothes, no Tampa Bay rays, like literally nothing. So I thought I might as well support the Bucks and get a cute little crew neck. Last piece I got from Abercrombie is probably one of my favorite things I got in this haul. And it's these pair of lounge pants. And I just love them because first off, they literally feel like butter. And also it's just giving like very cozy cottage core with the pointel pattern. Like you can see in the camera, I don't know if it's picking it up, but it has like a very cute cozy little pattern on it and sadly the matching top was out of stock but at least i got my hands on the pants but if they had that top in stock it would be game over like i would be living in this lounge set for days so maybe it is a good thing that they didn't have the top in stock because seriously this is just so stinking cute i love it and i got them in a size small i don't know if i'll wear them like out and about in public because they are very lounge wary but who knows maybe we could make them look like a cute little fall outfit Moving on to Aerie. Aerie has such great loungewear as well. Very like cozy in fall. Every time I think of Aerie, I kind of think of like the fall and winter season. They also have great sweaters, great cardigans. So I just picked up two sweaters. This one you've probably seen on your TikTok a million bajillion times, but it is so cute. Definitely like a very chunky warm sweater. I probably won't get much use out of this wearing this in Florida, but when I go home to Minnesota and stuff, this will be the perfect piece to pack with me. And I just think it's so cute and very fall-esque, you know? And then I just got this one, which I will be wearing a lot down here because it's very lightweight it feels like a cashmere sweater almost like it's so incredibly buttery soft and just like delicate feeling then moving on to zara oh baby Zara really popped off this fall season okay i showed a tiktok of everything that i recently got from zara and it kind of went off for some reason when i show like the clothes i get from zara and i put the codes on tiktok it bans it or it like removes the comments so i need to find a way around that starting strong with a matching sweatsuit because what else you guys you know this is just like my core foundation kind of look i found this bomber jacket and i thought that this would be so cute with some leggings or just like a little tank or something underneath very simple outfit but then when i was scrolling down on the website i saw that they had the matching wide leg sweatpants and I could not pass these up. I love wide leg sweatpants. I just think they're so flattering on and it's really hard for me to find sweatpants that are long enough because I do have longer legs. I love them. I also love the wash of this gray color. I think it's so perfect for the fall and just, it's like one of those colors where I'm like, that looks really good on me. Then I got a pair of cargos, of course. Well, two pairs of cargos. First one, believe it or not, I have these in white and I wear them all the time. So when I saw that they had this like khaki green color, of course, I immediately had to add to cart super cute to wear with like a white tank or a little tee or something super simple basic outfit that i like to wear and then i saw these cargos and thought that these were so fun they're like a cargo parachute pants they just have like so much detailing to them i love the stitching and they're like a very like heavy quality material and they just fit me like a glove so i really really like these and then the last pair of pants that i got from zara were a pair of denim jeans these are a high-rise straight jean super flattering on zara Zara's jeans fit me really, really well. They like hug my booty, but also they're tight on my thighs, which I like. And at the bottom, they just have this raw cut ankle, no holes in these ones, which I think would be like super cute with an oversized sweater. And we all love a good denim jean for the fall. Then moving on to Free People. I've been loving Free People because they have such like unique pieces, but also such staples and like statement quality pieces. This over shirt I thought would be so cute to wear, especially again in the fall with like denim shorts 
and a great layering piece. I'm all about layering, especially if you live somewhere where it's pretty chilly, like in Minnesota. Again, this is just like a core piece to have. Even like one of those rompers underneath would really help this outfit be like super cute and some little sneakers. Love it. These overshirts are one of my favorite kind of shirts to just throw over. Again, a simple basic outfit to elevate it a little bit. Then next up, I got a shrug and I freaking love a good sweater shrug, okay? With a little tank or over a workout set. These are so cute. And this one actually fits so well and looks normal on. I feel like I've tried so many of these out and they just look awkward and just like look like they shouldn't be a part of an outfit. So I've had to return so many of them that I've tried out and none of them have worked. Then I came across this one and threw it on and was like, yeah, that's an immediate keep. It's so freaking cute. I'll throw it on this. It's not gonna look the best because obviously I would never wear it with something like this sweater, but you can kind of see the idea for how it like sits on the body. So it's just very, very like covering right here. You know, half the time they don't even cover right there and it just like fits very loosely and chill. So I love this little piece. Last thing from Free People kind of goes along with that shrug because I could wear it underneath it is just this Free People bra. And I love the Free People bras because they're so comfortable and they're just super cute too. Last two things and then we'll wrap up the haul. I got this skirt from Aloe. I love this gingham print. It's like a mesh skirt too. And it just fits so well, super comfy. And I love these little tennis skirt things. Last thing I got, I've been eyeing up for probably the last year and a half because it's definitely a splurge. But the amount of times I've seen people style these in the most cute and flattering way ever, I had to just pick them up. They're the Pursuit Trouser. Yeah, high waist Pursuit Trouser. So I'm really excited to play around with these and style them because they're so lightweight and just so flattering on. And they actually hit me all the way down at my ankle, which is so nice, or they go past my ankle. And I thought that they would just be such a cute, like comfy, but elevated type of pant. Lots of people have worn these out. They've dressed them up, dressed them down. Again, just like a very versatile, but crucial wardrobe piece and such a staple. So I'm gonna have to style these and keep y'all updated how I love them, but I just think these are so freaking cute. And I did get them in a double extra small, which I never usually do with pants, but for me, I always size down. Their things tend to run a little bit bigger, at least that's what I've experienced, and other people have definitely noted the same. In this, I just got a small, but yeah. In their bras, I tend to size down, and their pants and leggings, I tend to size down. Yeah, so that is everything I got. I know, a very massive haul, but I will link everything for you guys down below. I'm gonna get started on cooking up the chili tonight. I changed into some comfy clothes because obviously it was raining and the only thought in my head was I wanna be in some comfy, cozy clothes. But of course, it lightened up and now it's not raining anymore. But we're still gonna make the chili tonight. I'm so excited. For the ingredients, I'd say it's pretty straightforward and typical for your usual chili recipe. We have all these different seasonings, bell pepper, white onion. I'm gonna use a ground turkey breast in my chili, corn, kidney beans, diced tomatoes, some olive oil, and chicken broth. So I'm going to follow along the recipe and start putting it all together. Five minutes so we're gonna do a little taste test see how she's coming along oh my gosh this looks so good it i wish you guys could smell my apartment right now i need to let it cool down <laughs> this is like hot off the press oh my goodness this might be better than my mom's this is so good that like literally warmed my entire <laughs> insides Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit for like seven more minutes and then make myself a little bowl. I'm not even saying this to be dramatic, but I think this is probably one of the best meals, if not the best meal that I've ever made. I've never really homemade stuff like this. So to say I'm impressed, 
is an understatement and this is so good and also i'll have like leftovers for lunch dinners for the next couple of days so we love that Nothing says fall like an episode of Gilmore Girls. This is my perfect comfort show. I absolutely love it, especially if you wanna get into the fall mood. Gilmore Girls is my go-to. Like not only is it the perfect show to watch during the fall and comfort show, but it's always my go-to. Like anytime I just need a little pick-me-up or I just don't really know what to watch, Gilmore Girls is my hands down a favorite, even though I haven't even finished it. Like I'm only on season three. I've been watching it for literally a year, you guys. I'm not kidding. That's just my ADD when it comes to shows. I can't get through watching shows. The only show I've ever finished is How I Met Your Mother. And I was so close to finishing Friends and then they took it off Netflix, which was so freaking annoying but it's funny because Gilmore Girls was actually taken off Netflix I want to say like maybe at the beginning of this year and I just love it so much that I was like oh maybe they put it back on Netflix and I looked last week and it wasn't and then today I was like I'm just so in the mood for that show like I love it so much so I googled where I could watch it and Netflix was an option I'm like wait they took it off Netflix that can't be right and then lo and behold it's on Netflix now so I love that Jamie, 